Hello, uh, my name is Karen Woodhouse and I'm the Director of IB at Falkstead School. I'm going to take five minutes to talk you through a little bit about the IB Diploma Programme that we offer in sixth form. Uh, it's a programme that we've offered since 2006 and during that time we've had almost 400 students successfully complete the IB programme. Currently in our sixth form, between about one quarter and a third of the students choose to take the IB route. And we've had lots of success with this, getting students into international universities as well as Oxbridge and Russell Group. I want to talk to you a little bit about what the IB Diploma Programme is. It is more than a set of examinations to be taken at the age of 18 and is underpinned by a philosophy and a learner profile. It's based on students developing a broad and balanced subject knowledge um, and looking at conceptual learning and how ideas fit together within and across subjects. Uh, the IB curriculum looks at global issues and celebrates internationalism. It encourages students to look up and out beyond their own experiences. It sets out to inspire a love of learning, characterised by enthusiasm and empathy, and it goes beyond the teaching of content. It's well respected by universities both at home and abroad, and our average point score at Felsted puts students in line with the average offer made by Russell Group Universities. We've also had recent success getting students into Ivy League universities in the US, including Tufts and UCLA, as well as a big range of European universities. The IB is based on a learner profile, which has 10 key characteristics. We'd encourage all the Year 11s to consider all the options they have in sixth form, um, but there are some differences between the IB and the A-level. Inevitably, the IB does carry more contact time than A -level, uh, three A-levels and an EPQ, but it is something that, because of the skills developed, is often rec well recognised by UK universities and is promoted by many. Please don't be put off by continuing with a subject in the diploma that you might not be passionate about. There are always options within all the subject groups, and because of the balance of standard and higher levels, we can normally accommodate most students' um, interests in the IB programme. Do talk to faculties about these or come back and speak to me. The IB has a reputation of being difficult, and certainly students who are achieving a very good range of uh, 8s and 9s at GCSE will thrive in the IB programme. But it is something suitable for anyone who meets our standard sixth entry requirements. So uh, do speak to us about how this IB philosophy and small group teaching might help you if you're concerned about your route through the sixth form. The slide shows how the IB course is structured and choose, students choose six subjects from a range of subject groups. They take language A, which is their first or best language as a study in language and literature, a language B, which is language acquisition, a humanities subject, a science and some maths, and then a, a sixth subject, which can be an art subject or it can be a different subject from one of the other subject groups. And this allows us the opportunity to specialise the diploma. So because of the combination of higher and standard level subjects, it does allow people to play to their strengths and it also allows people to think about what they're going to specialise for, what they're going to do next at university. So for example, a humanities specialist may be looking at law or international relations, might choose something like history, psychology and English at higher level, supported by French art and maths at standard level. Um, someone looking to specialise as an engineer, uh, might choose maths, physics and chemistry at higher level, may be supported by some English economics and perhaps a beginner's language like Italian Abinicio. Underpinning the IB subjects, there is an IB core which is really central to the course. It's made up of three parts. The first is CAS, which stands for Creativity, Activity and Service. And this really celebrates all the co-curricular work that students do outside their academic studies. Students are all required to write an extended essay, which is a 4,000 word academic research paper, very similar to the EPQ that they would write if they were taking A-levels. And fundamentally to the IB, we also have a course called Theory of Knowledge, which looks at the philosophy of learning and starts to look at how we know what we do, how subjects link together, and the differences in knowledge between different subject areas. I'm going to hand over to Millie and Cookie to speak to you a little bit about their experience in the IB and how they came to choose the course. Hi, my name is Constantine, but everyone here around calls me Cookie. I joined the uh, joint Felsid in 2019, and with that also my IB uh, program. When I joined Felsid, um, just like many other international students, I was a bit overwhelmed and a bit anxious. But not to worry for long, uh, Felsid has really helped me to overcome that and reach my goals. And also, uh, the idea is incredibly rewarding. The community and the teachers here are always accessible and very helpful. Here at Felsid, um, you are given, given a great, uh, great variety of subjects, a lot of community work, great co-curricular activities. For me, that included CCF, MedSoc, um, just like uh, also the sports. I started playing rugby, 
and really enjoyed it. Um, and just in general, it's been a great experience and has pushed me in every area. After Felsted, I'm planning to study abroad, um, either in Austria or in Canada, for a study in psychology or medicine. Um, Felsted is preparing me very well and is making me really enjoyable to look at those unis and gives me a great spectrum of opportunities. I chose the MBA Felsted for its uh, international recognition and the great variety of subjects. My subjects include chemistry, biology, and economics, because I had a great interest in them, and it keeps, it keeps all the doors open for future universities. Hi, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Millie. Uh, I'm taking higher level chemistry, biology, and psychology with the aspiration to study medicine at university. And I chose the IB diploma uh, for three reasons, for the choice, the variety, and the diploma itself. So for the choice, um, I really wanted to take French, um, I think it's a great skill to have to learn a language and it's one of my favourite subjects and I didn't want to drop it and if I did A-levels for medicine I'd be doing biology, chemistry uh, and maths or psychology um, which to me sounds a bit boring and I wanted a bit more variety which the IB diploma gives me. It also allows me to take a language while also focusing on my sciences. So what you do in the IB Diploma is very varied. You don't have the same lessons every single day, which I really love. And also the Diploma teaches you not just what to think, but how to think, which is a crucial skill for university, especially for me in medicine. There's also a frequently asked question that I get of whether I get to see the A-levelers, and the answer is yes. I get to see my A-level friends just as often as I did when I was taking my GCSEs. So I'm aspiring to take medicine um, at Oxford, so I'm an early applicant, which means that I have to balance my um, work life very, very well. And the IB Diploma, although a common misconception is that you don't have a lot of time, I have a lot of time to uh, dedicate myself to other activities such as sport. I got involved in a play last year uh, and public speaking competitions and anything you really want to do. We've had lots of success recently with students getting into very good universities with the IB. The universities tend to make IB students good offers because they value the skills that are developed through the course. The IB overall is marked out of 45 points and in general the Russell Group, the good UK universities, will tend to offer for between 32 and 36 points. Oxford and Cambridge look for about 40 or 42. If you're thinking more internationally, uh, the IB is a really good option. So universities in the US, Canada, Australia and Europe all accept the IB and will often give pre-credit for higher level courses which you achieve a good level. And there is some good um, research evidence that suggests IB students do go on to get better degrees and on average they're earning more uh, 10 years after graduation than their counterparts. Um, if you'd like some more information about the IB, I'd be very happy to speak to you about it. I would encourage all the students to consider it, and it might be particularly relevant to those who enjoy a range of different subjects, maybe who are finding the specialism of A-levels quite challenging, perhaps those who are considering study abroad after university, or those just looking for a new challenge. I will come in and speak to all the Year 11 Felsey students uh, during their careers lessons in the autumn term, but I would encourage anyone with further questions to give me an email for more information. Um, all the subjects information is given in separate videos and do have a look through those as well to really see the breadth and the range of courses that we offer at the DP and I hope that I'll get an opportunity to speak to you more about it.